I'm sure all of you are aware of the amount that I have received my share of trolling. I'm probably one of the most trolled individuals and judges across the system. I will only say with a, with a, with a shairi, and the shairi is, Mukhalif se meri shaksiyat samvarti hai. Mukhalif se meri shaksiyat samvarti hai. Main dushmanon ka bada ehtiram karta hoon. But on a lighter vein, I'm just wondering what will happen from Monday because all those who told me will be rendered unemployed. <laughs> last but not the least, that's the last but not the least, a word for the family. A word for my lovely children, Abhinav and Chintan. I keep on telling them that, look, I hardly get to see you. Why don't you come to Delhi? At least come here and argue your cases in the Supreme Court. I'll at least see you once in a month. And they said to me, Dad, we'll do that after. Why should we bring disrepute to your name and our name by coming here when you are a judge? I'm truly blessed. I'm truly blessed to have children who have that ethos. To our little Priyanka and Mahi, who have taught me that there's so much more to life than what we read in the dry pages of newspapers and our briefs, who have really, in that sense, shone the light on what disability really means and how you can aspire to live a dignified life and your sense of intuition is as important or better than the intuition of any individual. To my sister, Nima and Dilip, and my brother-in-law, Dilip, who have come all the way from the US to be here, they're amazing people. They have helped me to stretch the boundaries of my own capabilities by pushing me to do much more than I could have possibly achieved. And not finally, but most importantly, my own spouse, Kalpana. She is a great friend. What can I say? A great friend, my bestest friend, <laughs> my bestest friend, a staunch supporter, a fierce protector, sometimes a critic, but I know always without a reason of bias against me in mind, but a staunch, staunch protector and, and great friend to me. She's a person with values. She thinks about issues and believes greatly in issues. Our little Priyanka and Mahi, in particular, Mahi was responsible for my turning vegan. Kalpana turned vegan, and then I turned vegan after her. It's a quest about leading a cruelty-free lifestyle. And Kalpana always reminds me that veganism is not just about being vegan in food, but about being vegan in lifestyle. There's so much that I there's so much that I learn every day from Kalpana. She has instead, in that sense, been a solid source of strength and support to me. When we got married in 2008, Kalpana had extracted one promise from me. She said that I'll not wear any jewelry except that the wedding ring that you give me. She's truly that kind of a woman a woman of character, a woman of strength. Today, as I'm talking to you about all the memories that I've gained in the last 24 years as a judge, I suddenly feel 65 years of age today. <laughs> I really felt 65 years old when my Asha, Rajinder, came and touched my feet. I said, Ab to bude ho gaye such me. <laughs> my brilliant staff, in the court, my court master Sanjay, Gulshan, Chetan, Saroj, my brilliant staff at home, would Chetan, Anju, Manish, people who would Afzal, my redoubtable stenographer from Allahabad, 
who would wait till 11 o'clock in the night telling me, I would tell him, please go home. And Abzal would say, sir, I'm just comparing what you have written with whether the judgments actually say that. That's the kind of stuff that I have had. <laughs> the registry of the Supreme Court has been a source of enormous strength. I got into the registry district judges who represent the diversity of India, whether it was a person from Jharkhand, somebody from Kerala, somebody from Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab and Haryana, Assam, Orissa, you just name the state and we gave that registry a sense of diversity, diversity in terms of inclusion as well. And I've learned so much from my registrars in the Supreme Court. They have worked beyond the call of duty. As the famous quote goes, when our memories outweigh our dreams, when our memories outweigh our dreams, we have grown old. I hope I continue dreaming about the smaller things in life from now. Every person who has had a leadership role in an institution tends to feel, after me what? The deluge. And how untrue it is. There's never a deluge. Institutions are resilient and they, they continue. But I leave the institution of the Supreme Court in the confidence and the steadfast confidence after having worked with Brother Sanjeev for such a long time, that this court is in solid, stable, and erudite hands of a very... <laughs> From my conversations, his, my conversations with him have been over judgments, over cases, but the last conversations after his appointment have been about the administration of the Supreme Court. And sharing his ideas with me and learning about his ideas, I know that the Supreme Court has a bright future ahead. And for all my colleagues on the bench who have given me unstinted support and affection, thank you very much. I said, I said in the court this afternoon that if I have hurt anybody, I can only say, Michami Dukadam. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.